Hi guys, welcome to an Emma Gardner short. We're well, not my short, I don't know. It's my first one time doing one. But yes, this is what I have here is a watermelon. And it was actually already detached from the vine, so it means it's just ready to harvest. Um, but I do also have kind of a worry that it might actually got detached by an, like a raccoon or something because if you can see um, there's some, not bite marks, but scratch marks in it as well. So I did start my watermelon pretty late this year. I started with the like little starters and we actually got two fruits to start. And this is the only one that we got pretty much whole. And the second one, <laughs> It actually already got eaten by ants, so I'm going to give you a little bit of a close-up. Um, but what we do suggest is that you put them like in a pallet or something once the fruit starting to form, or just to give it some kind of support so it's not on the ground, so it can prevent from being eaten by rodents or raccoons and such. So I'm going to bring you close to the other one. So as you guys can see, this one got eaten by ants. It looks like it's really sweet because it's attracting them. So. It was getting also actually a little bit bigger and juicier, but it's all fine. It just goes back to earth and remains all organic. And some of the cucumbers just kind of stopped growing. It's been very wet and cold. And I do have some cayennes in here. That's so why I'm going to take that one. So, hope you guys enjoyed this MI show. I'm just going to go ahead and cut off the one we just harvested, that watermelon. So, stay tuned. Okay, so I just cut this watermelon and unfortunately I don't think it's gonna be really really sweet but I think there's a way that I can go about it and make it a nice recipe I'm just going to squeeze some lime juice and possibly um, just make kind of a watermelon salsa uh, with some like you know pico de gallo ingredients some tomato from the garden some peppers and um, or jalapeno and that would be a really really good nice thing to do so I can establish this beautiful watermelon on the lines. There's gorgeous colors. So I'm still going to try and taste a little bit of that pink one. What is this? Oh, it's so cute. So let's try it out. Mmm. Oh. still not too bad. Mm. It kind of has kind of a cucumber taste, so it's not bad, but it's like slightly sweet, so I really like it. 